Hey guys, and welcome back to a new tutorial. Today we will create Baugasm aesthetics and thank you so much for voting. And yeah, here's now your tutorial. <laughs> In today's tutorial you will learn how to create 3D poses and how you can transform them easily. And also how to create custom colored hair. The materials today are mainly black. It's black, black, black on black. So it's really important to use light correctly and I will show you how. In the end we will create in Photoshop post elements. Let's go guys! The 3D, the 3D objects. 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 Find the code in the video and get free project files. Good luck guys! Let's start with the tutorial. For this project we need Des3D. This is a completely free software where you can create poses for free. And we already used it one time for the other tutorial. There I also explained how to install it. I will link you the video in the caption. Okay, when you're ready with the download, go open this 3D of course and go then to figures, Genesis 9 and choose a figure. We choose this guy here. When you download and the program is ready, select this bone here and bend it to the body. It's really easy and simple. And that's it. After it, go to File, Export, choose OBJ, and then this window will open. Here you have to choose Cinema 4D, it's really important, and then accept it. In the next step, open Cinema, Cinema 4D, and then drag and drop the OBJ file here in the window. Here it's important that you choose meters, because it's a human body, and in meters it is the most realistic. And uh, it's important for the hair later on, to grow it on the head. Choose it and import it. Perfect. Now we have our figure. You can delete here everything. And first we will create the hole here in the head. And for this select the figure, go here to area selection and here take this tool and select the part that you want to delete. So now the selection tool is also really small. Here you can increase it to make it faster and also hold the shift key to select more segments. So this is enough. I tested a lot of cutouts techniques here. But um, yeah, don't make the hole too big. And as you can see, you also selected here in the background some stuff. Or oh, and here's also some something missing. Go around it to select really everything. And when you hold the command key, you can deselect because we don't want to get holes on the back head. Okay, now you can delete it. And as you can see, there are also things inside. You can go inside of the head and now it's really simple to delete it. Here you can also change to the rectangle selection to speed up the process to delete the things. This part of the mouth here you have also to delete. Perfect! This is the result. Now we go to select and we choose outline selection. Now you can select here the hole. Now we take the extrude tool and extrude it inside to get here a thickness in the head. And then you repeat it because you can make it here inside that it looks more realistic that you get a wall. Yeah, that looks good. Now we are ready with the edits. So go back here to the object selection. And now we need a subdivision surface to smooth everything out. Perfect. Now we create the plate here inside of the head. And for this, Create a plane, rotate it by minus Z, and we need 23 centimeters, put it to the top, and we need also a lot of segments. Choose 100 in the width and 100 in the height. Now make a current state object out of it, delete the other one, and now we can edit the plane. So we go back to the area selection, select the plane, and now we can cut it out. All right, when you're ready, delete it. And as you can see, here's some edges, but, but that's not important. Go here to the general selection, and now we can bring it a little bit to the side. And the camera perspective is like this, so you don't will see that. Okay, when you're ready, go to model and bring it a little bit to the front because we don't want to see the ear here inside. And look if here the edges are smooth, that's important. All right, in the next step, we create the text here inside. And for this, we need 
the text tool here, write the term of your choice. I choose loose face and for that I take one for height two. And that's it. Bring it to the right position on the top. To something like this. Now under text you can also change the font. I choose Roboto. And here's already bold. Perfect. Now we create the spheres here on the skin as details. And for this we need first a sphere. Change the radius to 0.15. After it we need a cloner. Put the sphere under it. Go under cloner. Choose object. And put here the body inside. And as you can see here are some spheres now. But we have also increased the count to 400. Now we have more. And here you can also change the seat until you something like. I think this is a good seat. Perfect. Now we create the abstract shapes here. And first we create a null object and put here everything inside to make it invisible. And to create the shape we need a noob. Now we have to create a current state object of, out of it, so we can edit it. So, now we go to area selection, then we go to select, then select all. And now we take the bevel tool and bevel it in this direction. Then we take the extrude tool, then we repeat it with the bevel tool. Then we extrude it again, bevel it extrude it and do it how long you want it depends how long do you want the edges and when you're ready go here to the model mode back and first we need the smooth modifier put it under it to get this result and then we need a subdivision surface and that's it after it we can select everything and connect plus delete to get one object we don't have to edit it again we name it to abstract shape and make everything visible again and bring the abstract shape to the right position all right these are my scale values and i take it also that it's um, longer and not so uh, wide and then we copy and paste it and this is here on the side not necessary because you don't see it in the perspective <laughs> don't wonder okay so bring the other one somewhere here to the side as and you can see they are behind the ear from the position in the next step we insert a camera and choose a perspective of your choice these are my position values and these are my rotation values if you want the same as me. So, and now you can also change the position of the abstract shapes again. I'm not really sure if the focal length get uh, saved from project to project, but it's 35. It was in this value, but yeah, if it looks different in your case, go here on the object and look it up. So, in the next step, we add the plane as background, rotated by minus C. Go out of the camera view and put the plane behind the poser. Go back in the camera view and now we go here in the coordinates and also from the camera and copy the rotation values that it fits perfectly as background like this. And um, I forgot, I have here already my render region. This is 1080 by 1350 pixels. So this is this frame here and the plane have to fit into the render region. Now you can go here in the object and rescale it to something like this. Perfect. That's it for the 3D models. Do you want the whole project? file you can have it <gasps> with over 70 other files that we have already created together guys you can find them on my patreon link is in the caption the animation all right now we came to the animation part and here we have to animate the abstract shapes and for this we first increase the animation duration to 150 frames these are around five seconds or this is exactly five seconds <laughs> Um, hit here the keyframe button, bring it to the end of the animation, rotate it here by 360 degrees and hit again the icon here. Now it's rotating. Now you can bring it here a little bit to the top and insert a new keyframe. Now it go, go up and down, but yeah, it works. Perfect. And then select the other ones and repeat it. So. Create a keyframe, bring it to the end of the animation, rotate it by 360 degrees, insert a new keyframe, go in the middle somewhere 
and bring it a little bit to the top and insert the keyframe. So, and we are ready. Move this middle slider somewhere different because we don't want that it looks too static. Three reasons why you should follow me on my social media channels. One. There you can get exclusive shout outs if you tag me at Art Invader. Two. There you can vote for upcoming projects. Three. Exclusive quick tips to get a pro in 3D. Thank you for your support, guys. The materials. The materials. Now you can download all HDRI maps and textures for the material part. Go, go, go. Download it. And let's move on with the tutorial. Perfect. All right. Now we came to the last part. So open the render view and press this icon to open the material manager. And here are still some old materials. You can delete them. Perfect. So first we create our lightning with a dome light. Go now here on the object, press add graph, and now you can insert here an image. It is this image here. So we change the intensity multiplier to 1.5 to make everything a little bit brighter. And under coordinates, you can change the rotation. Play with the values until you find something cool that you like. I already did it. So these are my rotation, rotating values to get this cool result here. Okay, now we can make it again bigger. So first we create our background. Double click here in this window, drag and drop it on the background, open it. And there we insert this background image that I created in Photoshop. It's only a gray background with this abstract shape on it. Yeah, drag and drop it here inside, connect it with the base color. And as you can see, you see not so much. We have to change the roughness to 0.55. And the scene is too dark for the background. And here's a little trick, connect it here with the emission color that it starts to glow and increase it here by two. Then you see the background. All right, now we create the body material. Double click to create a new material. Drag and drop it here on the body and also here to the cloner because we want that the bubbles or the spheres on the body have the same material. Now it looks like this. Open the material. Now we change here the color. This is my color code. This is a dark gray. We also change metalness to 0.75 and roughness to 0.5. Perfect. Now we create the material here for the plate in the head. Drag and drop it on the object, open it. And here we work with a gradient that we get the shadow here inside. And for this, we need ramp. Connect it with the base color. This black on this side is good. Open this color and change it to this color code, to something gray. Okay, and here we also have to change to horizontal. And now you can play with the values, bring it a little bit more in the middle to something like this. But yeah, now you don't see so much because we need also the lightning. But um, yeah, I did it before, so that's the reason why I know it. But play with the values later on if you don't happy with the result. Okay, now we create the material for the abstract shapes. Create a new material, put it on all abstract shapes, open it, change the color. This is my color code, something grayish. And we change metallic to 1 and roughness to 0 0.15 to get later on the strong reflections here on the abstract shapes. So now we create the material for the text. Create a new material, drag and drop it on the text, open the material. And here we go to color and change it to this color code. And metallic we choose 0 0.2 and roughness 0 0.2. Okay, now it's really dark, but we will create now our lights. So in this project, we only work with point lights. Create a new one and bring it to this position. This is in front of the head and also show it. It's here directly. Okay, go now on the object, change intensity to 20 and exposure to 5. And now it looks good. Now you also see the uh, gradient here inside and now it make also the really cool shadow in the head. And now we create a new point light. And the second point light is here behind the head. Here we also change the intensity to 20 and exposure to 5 to get this reflection see on the shoulder. And we go also on the color and change the color into blue. 
And this is my color code. Perfect. Now we can copy and paste the point light and change the position. And the point light is in the same position like the other one, just a little bit higher to create this light here on the forehead. In the end, we duplicate it again. Now we position the light here on the back plate, as you can see. These are my coordinates if you want to use them. Go now on the object and here we increase the intensity to 242 and exposure by 8. And now we have it here and now we can change the position a little bit. Yeah, to something like this and I also increase the intensity that you can see something in the back. But yeah, that's for the light settings. Become a member on YouTube and get access to the member only videos. And to all missing textures to finish this project. There you also get access to the secret color adjustment videos. Get this mesmerizing result only in a few minutes and free softwares. Become a pro now and bring your animations to the next level. Link is in the caption. Yes. And that's it. Well done, Art Invaders. If you like the video, please leave a like, follow or comment. And we see us in the next week.